hello welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel again so in this video we are going to know about how to do web scraping using power automate so if it doesn't know about power automate let's briefly talk about power automate just to uh, get the basic idea so once you go to office.portal.com you can just find it on the left hand side the power automate this is the cloud one and if you click this it will show you certain types of flow so what is automated uh, cloud flow is so when you define a certain criteria that when a mail is arrived or uh, when a sharepoint list value is changed a certain type of trigger that action upon such things is called automated cloud flow so instant cloud flow is when you just click it and that automatically start flowing and that's called instant cloud flow and schedule cloud flow as the name suggests then you just define certain time that it should be triggered every 9 pm and it, it uh, do it exactly that every 9 pm so that's called schedule cloud flow and desktop flow is the one thing that we are going to talk and use in this video so if it doesn't have this uh, desktop flow so what exactly you can do is so if you are using windows 11 right now so mostly there is chances that uh, you have this power automate installed in your pc otherwise you can directly go to your store microsoft store and just get this thing installed so it's not it's not a very big deal here so once you install this it will uh, sort of open like this so i will just close this one the older one we can just start with the new so let's create a new flow so we'll create a new flow here and we'll just write as a demo flow okay and once this is created one just press ok and it will take uh, one to two seconds to launch and yeah it is launching and so the best thing a uh, best part of this is you don't have to write uh, like logics of codes you can just there is a very good button called recorder on the top you can utilize this functionality so f let's see what exact web page we are going to extract right now to get more clarity on this so if you see here we are going to extract just for simplicity right now and you are going to use extract this uh, top 500 movies name so I am just going to extract the first 100 name and take the name and the year take the name and the year of all the movies exactly the same so let's go let's do this so first click this recorder button and once you click this recorder button the so one thing you have to take care is that you should have an uh, power automate extension installed in your chrome like if you are using chrome or edge if you are using edge so i have already installed this power automate extension you can do the same and once that is done just click record and once you click record it will start recording the action that you are doing so the best part here is you have to just do the action and it will replicate the same action while extracting so once you click uh, this record button and you can see that uh, there is a, a see as you can see this is a paragraph this is a span this is an anchor tag so now you can see that all the things are coming exactly what we wanted so just right click it extract this value element as my so i am extracting that value and I wanted this year, so what I will do, extract this value as a text. Okay, I have extracted name and year. So what exactly I can do here is, if I go down and I can do same for others. So if I try to do with this one, Power Automate is smart enough to do all the same with all of them because they are similar to each other. So now you can see that all of them are exactly aligned what exactly we wanted. So, so one task I want to give you guys that once you go to the bottom of the page, so as you can see, the, this is the next button here. So here is a functionality. If you right click this, there is a functionality called set this as a page. So let me tell you what exactly pager is. So pager means so if they have multiple pages, there is a button called one, two, three, four like that. So next is the pager element. If you click this, it will go to next page, next page. So you can uh, use this functionality called click uh, set as a pager and it will extract all the name and year and click this button to go to next page extract name year name year exactly till the end of the website so this is one uh, assignment that i wanted to give you guys so 
uh, till now we are done we have launched the instance and we are extracting two values let me finish this once you finish this uh, we the one slight change here is instead of storing all the values in a variable we wanted to store in an excel spreadsheet as uh, once that is done just search for save excel so yeah you can get the save excel part here just drag it here and you wanted to see use the same uh, instance from the top and you wanted to save a document so we wanted to save as so just provide a default path here where you wanted to save this i wanted to save in a desktop in certain so there is already a, a, a excel file called demo pow so i just wanted to replace this file so using this thing and let me save this flow first once that saving is done we can click run the first thing it will do is it must open this particular website yes now you can see uh, excel file has popped up and excel file consists of it should have 100 columns 100 rows i mean so we have yeah we have exact 100 all the values and with the year so now you can extract as many things you wanted from a website just one thing to take care is uh, the one drawback here i just wanted to point out here is if you go to your flow so if you want to automate this process so there should be an automated cloud flow but uh, when let's let's do that when i wanted to create this like automate or something like if i wanted to uh, schedule cloud flow it's like every day i wanted to do it let's, let's demo this so the only dra uh, drawback here is whenever you wanted to connect your desktop flow with your uh, cloud flow there is a premium connector so there's no free connector so if i want to as you can see power automate i guess because i am not using an org email id that's why it's showing me